Uh, hi everybody, my name is Rajat Anand. I am the international CTO for Scholastic. Um, Scholastic is uh, the world's largest distributor and publisher of children's books and educational material. Uh, we operate in more than 90 countries in the world, uh, headquartered out of New York, and we are a 98-year-old company. Uh, full stack development is essentially developing uh, an end-to-end -end application, having the skills uh, for an individual software developer or engineer to develop an end-to-end -end application. Um, full stack development was something that uh, many years ago, two decades ago in, uh, in the technology world with mainframes, people used to have to do. Uh, you literally had to write the code, the screens, the reports. Uh, as technology has developed though, uh, we have seen a lot of layers of technology uh, as we moved to client server and now to web technologies. And so essentially full stack development now means uh, having the knowledge to develop the front end. Uh, so whatever it is, whether it's on a browser, on a mobile device, uh, the actual user experience that a user sees, uh, all of the business logic and uh, validation that is required in the front end all of the middleware and all of the backend technology. The backend technology is essentially all of your database, whether it's a SQL database or a NoSQL database, um, all of the storage and retrieval, uh, all of the persistence, and the middleware is essentially a thing that connects the two. So a person who can really develop an application uh, based on the needs of a business from end to end is essentially called a full stack developer. Uh, full stack development um, you know, has always been popular um, and I think uh, people are now starting to recognize uh, uh, the fact that really having a full stack developer on your team is extremely useful and extremely productive. Um, the benefit of having full stack developers on your team in this new um, development model of a small agile teams is that you can have all of the different individuals potentially do any piece of the work. Um, you don't, you're not uh, pigeonholed into these specific classes of uh, this person can only do front end work, this person can only do back end work, uh, this person can only do you know server side coding, um, and so really uh, you know having a small team of full stack developers. Um, uh, allows you to be that much more productive. It allows people to focus more on the areas where there is actually a, a more need um, for effort. Um, and I think in general, um, you know, it, it, it's something that's for a developer is really good because it, it adds tremendous value to them as a, as a professional. Um, so I, I would say, you know, uh, full stack developers have always been around um, for as long as I've been in technology. Um, but I think over time, um, when we had this huge expansion and we had a lot of the large um, technology services companies uh, where we had projects with very large teams, um, there, was, uh, there was this division of labor um, and this division of skill sets um, which, is, which was essentially required or which was uh, almost mandated due to the size and the nature of the work. But I think as, as the world is getting more agile, you know, we're trying to do more things and we're trying to be much faster in getting working applications out. And that's really the trend towards mobile has, has been really uh, one of the great drivers of that. So I think uh, from that perspective, you know, full stack development has always been desirous and from a professional's perspective, it's something that I think somebody should always aspire to.